Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this distance rate uh, problem. So the problem reads, Callie left the White House and traveled toward the lake. Nadiba left one hour later, traveling 15 miles per hour faster in an effort to catch up with her. After two hours, Nadiba finally caught up. What, is, what was Callie's average speed? So a couple things I noticed is I read off a lot of distance, rate, and time. So that automatically prompts me to use the equation distance equals rate times time. Now that I know that I'm going to be using that formula, the next thing that's helpful is just to kind of draw a diagram to kind of see what exactly has happened. So it says they left the White House, so you know it doesn't need to be special. Draw a little house, and then they went to a lake. Now, both of them, it uh, just says it left. One left an hour later, so you can kind of represent, you know, here would be maybe Callie, and then Nadiba leaves an hour later. And what you can see is before they get there, you know, they intersect and they meet each other up. They catch up after each other. So what I'm going to do is I notice that I have two different people with two different distant rates, times, equations that I can set up. So the first one I'm going to set up with is Callie. And then I have Nadiba. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fill in as much information as I possibly can using the formula distance equals rate times time for both of them. So for Callie, um, I don't know what the distance is that she traveled. Uh, when I'm looking at this, I say, all right, well, I know that she traveled, they met, but I don't know what that distance is. So the distance traveled right now is just going to be D. Um, I also don't know Callie's rate. Um, we know that Ndibia traveled 15 miles per hour faster, but I don't know what faster than what is. So I'm just going to keep that as R. The one thing, though, that I do notice is it says that Ndibia left one hour later. So what I can say as far as time, I still don't know the time, but what I can represent is I could say that at least my time is going to be t plus 1. And that's just going to become very helpful when looking at this and you know we can kind of determine what our time. Now I know it says after two hours, but right now I just want to represent how are they relating to each other. So now let's look at Nadiba. Nadiba distance, again, for them to meet each other was d. We don't know what that distance was. Her rate is now going to be, um, her rate is 15 miles per hour faster. So I could say R plus 15. So no matter whatever Callie's rate was, I'm going to add 15 to it. And then I'm going to multiply by whatever the time was. Because remember, Callie had that time plus one, right? She had that extra hour because she left. She took her an extra hour, so she had a, kind of like an hour, she had like pretty much like an hour kind of head start. That's why I'm adding the plus one. So now I look at this and it says after two hours, finally caught up. So that means they caught up. The distance that both of them traveled is equal to each other. So what I can say now is I could say this equation is equal to this equation. So I'll say R times T plus one is equal to R plus 15T. And the next thing is say that this equal to each other when t was equal to 2. So r times 2 plus 1 equals r plus 15 times 2. Now I can just do a little work. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 times r is 3r is equal to 2r plus 30. Now solving for my variable, I subtract 2r. And I get R equals 30 miles per hour. So therefore, when it asks is, what is Callie's average speed? So that's going to be her rate, R. Well, her R is going to be R equal 30. So her average speed is going to be 30 uh, miles per hour. And that's how you solve the distance rate problem.